Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. Performance number 10. Let's get it on. Marvin Gaye uh, Pentatonics is of course what we're here for. But Marvin Gaye, he actually lived uh, a few years in the town that I was born and bred. Ostend, Belgium. He came here, uh, I don't know for how long, maybe a year or two. We, we even have a tour here. And he actually stayed with a family uh, that I know. At least uh, I know a few members of that family. Which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah. Just uh, throw that little trivia at you. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go, Pentatonics. And Nick, what do you got for me? Our next contenders, the quest for the title started with three small town friends. Now their shared passion and the added talents of an innovative rhythm section have taken Pentatonics all the way to the national stage. It's pretty insane that just a year ago we were putting up a little YouTube video and now we're kind of succeeding on a national television show. I think you guys were sent back from the future to save acapella and do it in a futuristic way. For them to say he that, we'd be like, oh, wait. <laughs> he called them acapella, D techno acapella DJs. And he called them basically like Terminators. We can, we can, we can make a movie out of that, man. The techno acapella DJs sent from the future to save the genre. <laughs> Let's get it on. Capella and do it in a futuristic way. For them to say that, we realize, oh wait, this might be something big. One of the things that we're known for is the bag of tricks that we have. We always try to take big risks each week. Wait a second, have I seen that? I can't even remember what I did and what I. I always seem to freak out in these videos because I see things that I haven't seen before. <laughs> Yo, am I in the sixth sense? I see unseen performances. We'll find out. We always Let's try to take going. big risks this each week. We've been lucky right? because they have paid off well, but there are only five groups in the competition now, and we're taking bigger and bigger risks. That makes me really worry. <laughs> We're kind of expecting that pentatonics twist on the song and it's getting harder every week because we want to think of new stuff and try to improve and improve and improve and impress the audience more and more it's like really heartbreaking to think about this all ending because for one thing we wouldn't be together mm. anymore because we all live in different places but getting the recording contract would be so amazing and to be doing this and be together it would mean the world to all of us we didn't even know we would make it this far and we're kind of freaking out. We really want it now and um, we really feel like we can win. Yeah, man, of course it's bittersweet even for me. And I, I know they stayed together and of course, you know, Avi left and uh, Matt came in, but still they made it work even though I heard there were problems with the contract or then they let it, they, they you know, let it expire and then when go for themselves. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, so, uh, maybe somebody can fill me in what happened there, but still, they still kept it going back and they went back to YouTube and, and, uh, became what they are now, which is incredible, man. What a journey. Let's get it on. Some loving from the judges performing. Let's get it on by Marvin Gaye. Here is Pentatonix.
killed it that's for sure but i could hear like with the stereo effect it's so clear that you know scott's in the middle and i could hear kirsten and mitch on each side very clearly and that sounded so good so full the 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 bass and the drum were really like oh man i was vibing like damn <laughs> i was almost like oh calm down man there's a camera here <laughs> yo can't show my uh my dance moves too much right i gotta keep something in the tank for a fool <laughs> for later oh man that's amazing a great classic song and again the way they adapt different genres different styles and make it their own their flavor pentatonics they make it pentatonics we it's a it's its own genre its own you know thing and that's what they're so good at that's why they have endured for so long incredible <laughs> yo this was amazing once again performance 10 what i i could swear i saw a performance in those little clips that i haven't seen or outfits maybe i'm wrong i don't know it's weird huh because i couldn't count to 10 i did one two three <laughs> I can count to 10. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Let's keep going. <laughs> Man, they it's know nice. it. They know it. They felt it. Man. Very smooth. Smooth indeed. I have a feeling I don't even need to ask this question. But Sean, where are you feeling it? <laughs> it was I. Right. Man, um, I can't express enough how incredible that was. Like, the soul, man. That was a. A, a, an incredible rendition of one of my most favorite singers of all time. Like, he is my dude. Like, Marvin's my guy. And, and the way that you guys did that, man, like, you make it your own, and I really can't talk. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Good night. I get it. Sometimes that happens to me, too, and I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> I say some weird stuff when I don't even know what to say. That's just how my brain works, and uh, I love it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Let's get it on. Yeah, Sean, I get you, man. I get you. I feel that. But it was great, and especially coming from somebody who idolizes Marvin Gaye, and, you know, sometimes you feel protective, or you heard his song so many times, like, oh, don't. Don't do that. Like when they do rem remakes of movies that you loved when you were a kid, or... Or just love in general. Oh, please don't touch that. You know, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it falls flat. And, uh, you know, but here in Pentatonic's case, they just, uh, they nail it. They make it their own. You know? Like Mar uh, like like Marvin said, <laughs> like Sean said, and like I said before, you know, it's their flavor. It's their thing. You know, that's their strength. And I read in the comments to one of the other videos, like uh, they were freaking out over doing a mashup like the Britney mashup but that actually has become one of their strengths so uh yeah these difficult things that's why no there're not many groups that do it at this level because they make they take risks they do the hard things and it's hard you know 
the it's a it's a stepping you know you have to get over that limit to do it like oh yeah i don't want to do it it's too hard many people are that way you know including me sometimes you know like oh dude the the entry the gate of entry it's too far away it's too hard for me let's not do that and they're the opposite but like let's do that even though it's hard and that's where they excel if that makes any sense <laughs> let's listen to the play ben I love it when Sean gets that way. That's always good. Um, I think that, you know, that there's going to be a suspicious bump in, in the birth rate in nine months. <laughs> There'll be names Scott and Kirsty, and oh. we'll know why. I mean, that song pretty much. If somebody has uh, a, a whole family just named after all the members. <laughs> like they have uh four sons and uh, and one daughter wait a second mitch scott avi kev see i can count i can count <laughs> yo i had to double check though i can count guys I, I trust me i can count we'll know why i mean that song pretty much sums up what r b is about it's, it's brilliant and mitch what a better way to start the song that was that was killer the wah wah was awesome <laughs> That was beautifully in the pocket, and uh, it was great. I, I can't do it justice with words either, but we'll we'll look after that statistic in nine months, and we'll see if my theory holds up. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, we then you have to revise that theory and see if they uh, adopted a mat later on. Yeah, and maybe exchange. You can't really exchange children, but you know, for the sake of this test, we can try. <laughs> or change the name. Maybe that's. E Instead of changing the kid, you could change the name. <laughs> what? Sarah, what'd you think? Oh, good Lord. That was <laughs> unbelievable. Um, <laughs> you guys are incredibly professional and incredibly polished at what you do. And it is a joy to hear you perform every single week. True. You are so badass. And when I am at a loss for words, um, I usually break out a swear word or two, and that was just awesome. Oh, hey. we're on TV. Yes. <laughs> you can't Thank do you, that. judges. And we'll find out soon if Pentatonics will move ahead to the next round. Thank you, guys. Great work. Hey, that was great. And, you know, like, yeah, when you're at a loss for word, then I start to break out all these. I have no clue what I just uh, said, and it had nothing to do with the music. But anyway, I hope <laughs> you stayed with me. And uh, yeah, man, I love this performance a lot. And looking forward to the next one. 11, 12, we're still counting. We're still counting. And 12 is the last one, right? If I remember correctly. Well, we're almost at the end. This is the end. My only. Oh, you still here? <laughs> Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day.